Joining us right now, Jim Conway, former FBI officer. Hey, Jim, thanks so much for taking the time uh, to join us here this morning. Good morning, Pat. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, We were shocked, but maybe we shouldn't be shocked, by what took place. Harris County deputy shot an informant that apparently was driving a tanker truck filled with marijuana killed in northwest Harris County. Should this really surprise us as much as it did uh, or do these kinds of things, trucks rolling through Houston with filled with drugs, do these kinds of things happen all the time and we're just not aware of it? Well, there, there's a lot of issues here. You know, first of all, I think that, you know, Harris County is going to drill down and find out exactly what happened here. So we're all speculating as to what what actually went on during the operation. It looks as though the bad guys actually shot the informant, and it, it appears to me, and again, I'm just speculating as though it may have been a ripoff, and when the bad guys went to take the, drug fo- the, the, the truck full of drugs, they didn't realize that they ran into the middle of a police operation. Is it, is it also possible that, and the Zetas, when you refer to the bad guys, uh, the, the Zetas apparently are who these bad guys are, could it have been they knew that the driver of the truck was working with the federal government and were just taking him out? No, no, I don't think that's the, the situation. Look, I, I think they, a drug transaction was, was to take place. And uh, the informant, it looks as though, was part of the operation, and he was going to make the transaction with the bad guys. With the bad guys or the Zetas, and all that will be determined when they drill down and find out who these guys are, they didn't realize they were running into somebody that was part of a police operation. But look, this is part of a bigger problem. I mean, the spillover of cartel violence is obvious throughout, uh, throughout, uh, Me- throughout northern Mexico, Texas and the United States as a whole. I mean, uh, these cartels have their proxies in place here, not only in Texas, but in Atlanta, Phoenix, throughout the United States. And we've seen that with a huge jump in kidnappings and other cartel-related violence uh, throughout the United States. You know, uh, Governor Perry, who, as you know, is running for president, was speaking about immigration. He was speaking about the border last night in their latest debate. Uh, also, the other uh, hopefuls were talking about immigration, how we've got to secure the border. Yeah. L- let me ask you to hang on, Jim, and think about this uh, real quick. When we come back, give me your thoughts as a former FBI officer as to what you, and you're the boots on the ground that Governor Perry talks about so often, what you think is is needed to stem the tide of drugs rolling through Harris County and certainly through the state of Texas as well. Now, back to Matt and your morning news. King Terry's news time is 8.52. We're wrapping up our conversation with Jim Conway, former FBI officer. Jim, thanks for taking the time. Thank you, Matt. Uh, you know, we put boots on the ground. Governor Perry's talked about this uh, many times. In your opinion, as a former FBI officer, what do you think is necessary for those folks on the front lines? How do we stem the tide? Well, you know, I've always said, and I, and I was glad to see the issue discussed last night during the debates, that border security means national security. And, you know, there's a lot of variables at play here. It's not only the drug cartels, but it's also terrorist groups. We've seen a significant growth of Hezbollah activity linked to Iran in South America, particularly in Nicaragua, Central America, as well as in Venezuela and throughout South America. So that poses a threat. Anecdotally, the FBI and the intelligence agencies have captured a number of terrorists in Latin America attempting to enter the United States and do bad things. So that is an issue that's front and center, and I was glad to see it was discussed last, last night. In terms of the border, I think we really need, I mean, we need to step back and look at it from a macro perspective. We need to have some kind of a realistic guest worker program in this country so that the folks that are coming here for legitimate reasons and need to work, and it benefits our economy as well as that of Mexico, We have some kind of a program in place, and then the intelligence agencies and law enforcement can focus on those folks that are sneaking into the United States. To me, border security means national security. And and I would agree. I would agree with you. Jim Conway, by the way, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, my friend. Same to you, Matt, and your family. Thanks so much, and let's give thanks for, for all that we have. No question. Jim Conway, former FBI officer, joining us here this morning.